In this video, I am going to show you that how can we add a printer to the print management server in a domain-based environment. Plus, we will also learn that how can we add multiple drivers for that printer because, if we have client machines with both 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems on our network, then we will need to add multiple drivers for a single printer. We will then, install the printer on a client machine to check either it's working or not. Finally, we will test the printer by sending a test page from the client machine. Without wasting any further time, let's start the video. First of all, configure the IP address of the same network on the printer. To configure the IP address of the printer, first press the settings button on the top left side of the printer. Click on the system settings. Click on the interface settings. Click on the IP address. Now type the IP address of the same network using the numeric keyboard on the right side of the printer, and then press OK button. After typing the IP address, click on the subnet mask and type the subnet mask of your network using the numeric keypad on the right hand side of the printer. After typing the subnet mask, again, click on OK button. That's it, we have configured IP address and subnet mask on the printer successfully. Now again, press the system settings button on the top left side of the printer so that the printer's interface changes back to the normal mode. After configuring the IP address of the printer, go to the PC, and open command prompt. Ping the IP address of the printer to check the connectivity. Open any web browser and go to www.google.com. Search for Rico 2212 drivers download. We will go to the official website, and we will find all the drivers for that printer listed here. We will download the specific drivers 32-bit and 64-bit for our operating system. Since I already have downloaded the drivers and saved on the desktop, so I will not download the drivers here again. Click on Start button. Then click on Administrative Tools. And then click on Print Management. Print Management tool will be opened. If we click on the printers on the left side, we can see all the other printers installed on this Print Management server. To add another printer, 
right-click on the printer tab or right-click in the empty space where other printers are installed and then click on Add Printer. After clicking on Add Printer, Adding Printer Wizard will begin, on the first page, choose Add TCP IP option and click on Next button, type the IP address of the printer. Leave the Auto Detect option checked. Click on Next button. Now Windows will try to communicate with printer and find the drivers, if found. It will ask to install the drivers, choose the install the driver option and then click on next button. Click on the button which says have disk. Click on browse button. Now go to the folder where we have saved the drivers. Since I have saved on the desktop so I'll go to desktop and. I'll choose the driver for my operating system. I have 64-bit server operating system so first I'll add 64-bit driver. So choose the driver's file and click on open button. Then click on OK button. We can see all the compatible drivers here. So we will select the one which is for our printer as per the model of our printer. Click on next button. Here it is asking to type the printer's name. We may type any name. Remember leave the share this printer option checked. If not, the printer will not be shared and we will not see any shared printer while installing on the client PC. And the shared name of the printer will appear on the client PC with the same name which we type here. Click on next button. On this page we will see all the details regarding the printer. Click on the next button. The driver's installation will begin wait for the driver to be installed. The driver installation process has been completed. Click on finish button. 64-bit version of the driver for this printer has been successfully installed. Now we are going to install the additional drivers. Means previously, we installed driver for 64-bit operating systems. We may have 32-bit operating system on some of the client PCs. So we will add the 32-bit of driver for this printer as well. To add the additional driver, again open the print management. Right click on the printer and click on the properties. Click on the sharing tab. Now click on the additional drivers button. Make sure that x86 option is checked. Click OK button. It will now ask to select the x86 drivers file to install the driver. So we click on the browse button and go to the folder where we have saved x32 bit drivers. Then we select the drivers file. Then click on open button. Press OK button. Wait for a moment for the driver to be installed. After installing the drivers, again we will be presented with the properties menu. This is our client machine with Windows 7 64-bit installed. We will try to install the shared printer on this machine. Open my computer, type backslash backslash and then IP address of the print server machine. Right click on that printer and click on connect. It will now download and install the driver on the client machine. Finally we need to verify either the printer has been installed successfully on the client PC or not. To verify that, click on the start button then click on the devices and printers. On this page, we can see all the shared printers that have been installed including the one that we recently installed on this client machine. If not, then wait for a moment so that the printer configures itself.
Sometimes it takes a little time to install and configure the printer's driver. Now I will right click on the printer and just print a test page for the confirmation. As you can see, I have printed the test page successfully. Means we are done here.